Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens Weights and Tarot, and today I'm doing the February 2021 reading for you guys. I thought I would change it up a little bit, have a little bit more fun because, well, okay, I know we have our Hallmark holiday of Valentine's Day <laughs> this month, uh, Saint Valentin, but, um, you know, I think in general, I, I just... I mean, every month should be kind of like Valentine's Day, not just for like romantic relationships, but we should always have months filled with love. And so if there is a month where it seems like everybody wants to whatever, fill the place with love, like let's let's make that a part of our, the theme of our reading. Although I think that all of my readings always have love for you guys and always about sharing the love. But OK, we're going to play along with Hallmark a little bit, even though. We should be filling stuff with love anyway. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to be doing a general reading first of just like the general energy that's out there for uh, February 2021. And then those of you in coupledom, I'm going to be doing a, a small reading for uh, people that are within a relationship, um, you know, because it is February. <laughs> um, and then those of you that are not in a relationship, but possibly looking or looking to build a better relationship with self, which one should always do, of course, actually, that should be priority number one, uh, then I will do a, a little separate reading for that. So it's technically three small readings for the month of February. Just remember that with these readings, they are general. General. Um, so I'm just tapping into the general energies that are out there. Some of this will connect with some people, some things will not, and that's okay. Um, hey, Wally. And Wally's here to make the reading much better. Here's the little Wally tail. <laughs> um, readings were always better with my little Puma. Um, but yeah, so if you would like a one-on-one -on -one reading, I do those uh, through my website, kittensweightsandtarot.com. The link is down below. Of course, you can always book a reading through Etsy, uh, which that link is also down below. And I got tons of other cool stuff for you guys to check out. Uh, but let's take a look at the decks that we are using this month for February 2021. Okay, for our general reading of just the general energy that's out there, some general guidance, something for our best and highest good uh, so that we can navigate this month. I have my Wally's World Oracle. So that is uh, Wally Wally Toe that's actually, oh, there you guys go. <laughs> He's on my lap right now. Um, but you can find this uh, in my uh, Etsy shop as well. So like I said, the link is down below. Um, and then I want to pair that with the Tarot of the Cat People. Uh, this was a lovely gift from a lovely friend. Um, and then the decks that I want to use for those uh, that are within a relationship. Um, and just kind of look into some general guidance for that. I'm going to be using the romantic tarot, which is what I actually do use for my relationship reading. So when you do book a reading, if it is a relationship type question, uh, you're probably going to expect to see this deck on hand. Um, I want to pair that with the language of flowers, uh, affirmation cards. And on the other side, those people that are not within a relationship, but looking to uh, possibly gain a relationship or a better relationship with self or relationship with friends, you know, because relationships come in many forms other than romantic. Um, I'm going to be using my uh, Hello Kitty playing cards in a tin, but I read these more as an oracle slash kind of tarot or numerological meanings. Um, in here, uh, this is one that actually you can only really get through makeplayingcards.com, which the link is in um, or on my website, kittensweightsandtarot.com. And this is the uh, Victorian flower oracle, which I created. <laughs> it was just like a deck that I made for funsies, but I really like to use it. So I'm going to use it for uh, this particular reading. But okay, let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. And out. All right, let's dive into the reading. Wally, are you ready? He's ready to go to sleep. So maybe that just means he's in, he's in deep meditation. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna pull a card from here and a card from the uh, Tarot of the Cat People first. And then we'll take a look into that general energy for February, 2020, some uh, general guidance. Something for our best and highest good. Oop, looks like that card's popping out, so we're gonna put that aside. Okay, gonna go into my Tarot of the Cat People. All right, looks like we have that 
card as well. So I'm just going to put these back in their box. You know you want to go in your box. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have. Oh, we have the Raven, which that picture was actually taken by me in Rancho San Diego. Uh, and then we have the King of Cups. Love the tiger there. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful art. Okay, so give me a moment while I put both of these together. Ah, okay, I'm already getting this. Um, so the month of February, uh, albeit short, um, is a month to, maybe not just this month, but this is uh, a message from this month moving forward through, you know, uh, what I'm feeling for the rest of 2020. Um, with the King of Cups, you know, yes, cups are, um, you know, connected to relationships, which is, I mean, yes, February. <laughs> they're connected to emotions, they're connected to intuition. Uh, but what I'm really getting is, uh, this is the month to um, really trust that intuition. Because if you can put yourself out there to where um, you give a lot more trust than you have been giving to your intuition, you are going to see some transformation happen. So yes, uh, crows, ravens, they are seen as like mystical, magical, transformative. Um, and I'm really getting that transformative energy that this is almost like, you don't have to make, um, it doesn't mean it have to be a big to do or anything like that, but you know, where you have a gut feeling about something and you follow through with that gut feeling instead of just shoving it down and saying, oh, but logically that doesn't make sense because up here is where our ego lies, which doesn't mean that the ego is bad. The ego is there like helicopter mom trying to protect us, but just like helicopter mom doesn't really do us any favors sometimes. Uh, so yes, can be helpful, but we can't let the ego run everything. Um, it's a good balance between the ego and the intuition. Uh, but this month is really asking you to really trust that intuition because right now I feel like there is an imbalance, uh, between, uh, what the ego self wants and what your intuition wants. And I keep pointing down here cause I definitely feel things in my guts. Like I really do. Like it's my stomach that speaks to me, <laughs> but I know it's actually my higher self, you know, um, speaking to me through my tummy. Um, but yeah, so whenever you get the inkling that something is happening or I, I have this gut feeling or I just I don't know I, I just feel something about this situation or I just know something that's when you need to really hone in on it and follow it please this month um, because it's from there that you're going to start to see a change in yourself your behaviors how you see the world this is a really good month for change and that change that you feel because you followed your guidance is going to carry you into the remaining months of the year. And I know we're basically at the beginning of 2020, but how amazing would that be to move through the rest of this year, having uh, transformed yourself into a better version of yourself. You're not a different person. You're just a different version of yourself. Um, so that's the big message for everybody you know, this month, myself, everybody, you know, so I'm not like over here on some sort of soapbox being like, you guys need to do this. No, this is me included. Okay. I'm, I'm in the collective as well. Um, we're never disconnected from each other. We're all very connected. We all feel, um, you know, as, as a collective. So, um, definitely do your best to follow your guidance, your gut feeling, your intuition, whatever you want to call it. Um, because when you do, the universe is going to reward you with the gift of transformation, the gift of um, the realization that, you know, maybe not everything happens logically. You know, sometimes there is no explanation. So anyway, so that is the general message for all of us. Um, okay, so this next section is for those of you that are within a relationship. So again, this is just general, so I'm not speaking to anybody's particular relationship, but just general guidance and advice um, so that you can uh, continue in that relationship for its best and highest good. Okay, so let me go ahead and shuffle these cards from the Romantic Tarot. And I'm going to take the language of flowers and give this little shuffle, our little affirmation cards. Okay. And uh, 
Woo. <laughs> that card just came flying out, but I don't think that was anything. Sometimes, you know, it's not the universe throwing cards at you. It's that you suck at shuffling. I say you as in me. Sometimes I suck at shuffling. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, we have the Seven of Cups. And we have this lady who looks like she is being courted by just about everybody in this, this dance hall. And then we have a Gardenia Awareness. Wake up, roll the clouds away, and look. Okay, so clarity of mind. Okay, that's interesting because we have the Seven of Cups, uh, which can be about dreams. It can also be about choices. Um, so as it pertains to people that are already within a relationship, um, here's what I'm getting, okay? Um, see if I can put this out into words for you guys. Um, sometimes, uh, so again, I'm not speaking to any particular couple I'm just saying in general sometimes sometimes uh, when we are within a relationship we have certain things that we expect to happen we ha we place certain expectations our hopes and our dreams with onto the relationship itself um, the other person might be doing the same they place his or her hopes and dreams and aspirations onto the relationship um, however I believe that uh, what this is saying here, that when we place those hopes, dreams, and aspirations onto something and just hope that it'll turn out the way that we hope it will, like I, I hope my dreams come true, I hope my aspirations come true, I hope all of this just happens and the other person is doing the same, um, that it creates a lot of uh, cloudiness within the relationship um, instead of really sitting down and talking to each other and saying, hey, um, these are the, um, this is what I would like to, to work on in this relationship. And you might find out that uh, you guys are seeing things in two completely different ways. Um, and it might, um, might have led to an argument later on had nobody said nothing, said anything. Um, so I am getting that um, there, there could, to, in order to avert, any sort of confusion, uh, miscommunication this month in February is to really communicate and talk. Um, because here I have all this, I just keep feeling like dreams, like people just sitting there and like, okay, um, you know, and I'm guilty of doing this, like back when I was like a, a I don't know, like in my early 20s, um, I had this boyfriend and, uh, <laughs> and it, it was like around Valentine's Day and in my brain, I was expecting him to do certain things or to say certain things for Valentine's Day. And when that didn't happen, I felt like, what? I like let down. I mean, he did other things for Valentine's Day, which he thought was like, okay, this will make her happy. And you know, and this and that, and this is how I show my love. And, um, but there was no prior communication of this is, um, this is how I see this holiday. This is how I express my love. This is how da, 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 you know, and then the other person doing the same. And because the communication wasn't there, there was all this cloudiness and each other placing some sort of hope and dream, you know, on a particular day, let's say, um, caused a lot of confusion. And so in order to thwart that confusion this month, it is imperative that you guys communicate whatever that you're hoping, whatever it is that you are dreaming, whatever it is that you want to get out of your relationship moving forward, please communicate. I know sometimes it might feel uncomfortable, but if this is really the person that um, you're serious about and you want to spend your time with and you want to grow with, you're going to have to communicate with them. It's an act of love. It's not invasive, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's what I'm getting for that. Okay. Um, now let's go into, um, those of us that are not in a relationship and perhaps we're looking to build a relationship with a friend, a romantic partner or with ourself. Um, so let's go ahead and shuffle up my Victorian flower oracle. All right just kind of popped out let's put this away all right 
then I'm gonna pull from my Hello Kitty playing cards. These are so cute. I love that there's a different picture on each one too, which is why I, I think it's a really good uh, Oracle deck. Okay. Okay, let's take a look here. We have Orange Blossom, Pure Love, Joy, and Intentions. Ah, and then we have the Eight of Hearts. So we have Hello Kitty riding a dolphin. <laughs> okay. Okay, it seems like the... The message is quite similar whether people were in a relationship or not so um, what I'm getting with these cards is um, kind of like what I said before with uh, the people that are together um, it's sometimes the expectations that we place on others creates cloudiness it creates a miscommunication um, and so what I have here is something very similar even for the people who are not currently in a relationship um, here with the Eight of uh, Cups or Eight of Hearts and Hello Kitty on a Dolphin, I really am getting that Eight of Cups feel, that um, letting past hurts go. Not to say that you're, you're going to forget all about them. We should always learn, right? You know, every situation is a chance for us to learn and to grow. And I really feel that uh, this, this point of not being in a relationship right now is a great chance to reflect so that you can release and you can allow in some wonderful, um, you know, light and love to yourself, you know, to yourself personally, not just like a love partner, you know, um, but a really allowing that healing in that needs to take place uh, because of, you know, things that have hurt us in the past, but we grow from those things. Um, and so I'm really getting kind of twofold that, you know, that's something to work on this month, but also uh, where it says uh, intentions, pure love, joy, um, is not to place any sort of expectation on what the person should look like, act like, what job they should have, what hair color they should have, what height they should be like, not to place such specific expectations um, on the person that you might find out you, you have a great connection with and you guys hit it off well. I'm not saying it's going to be the next Mr. or Mrs. Wright, um, but it's uh, somebody who comes along who is going to aid you in the next step of your growth process. Um, and that person may look very different from the person that you are, you know, the, or the kinds of people that you are used to dating, which is why um, it's imperative that you do not place any sort of expectation on what that person looks like or even the t uh, same personality type um, to really go with uh, what spirit is calling for the month of February. So I do get this is a great time for reflection, release, so that you can allow in healing and love for yourself. And as you're doing that, uh, also releasing the need to um, place, what I would say, um, place expectations on this person who hasn't even come in yet, placing any sort of expectations on them. You're just like, you know what? I leave it open, you know, um, for somebody who will help or, or grow with me, who will um, come in with love and I am open to love, you know, so that's what I'm getting for those people who are, are not with somebody for the month of February is this is a chance for reflection. This is a chance to let go of expectations of um, you know anything that hasn't served us in the past and we are now allowing that healing energy in we're allowing love in and we're allowing in somebody who may not be exactly like the person that we have dated before because you know what we're probably not with the person that we dated before because they weren't for us so we don't want to repeat that cycle we don't want that exact same person again okay so all right you guys those were the readings for February 2021. You know, again, our general reading, our reading for those of you attached, those of you unattached. <laughs> I hope you guys dug it. I hope you guys had fun. Let me know your thoughts, or maybe if you got something more from the cards, put that in the comment section down below. 
I'm more than happy to hear from you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic February. Whether you guys are into the Hallmark thing or not, I think everybody should be into love. But that should be every month, every day, every hour, every year. <laughs> All right, you guys, I will catch you later. Uh, remember that if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I also have my Wally's World Oracle over there if you guys are interested. Um, and actually, as this video goes out, my newsletter is going out. So I have um, a witchy newsletter that I put out on the first of every month. So if you don't get it this month and you sign up, then you'll automatically uh, be getting next month's newsletter on the first. And I don't do any spammy stuff. All you do is get a newsletter from me. <laughs> um, but it has witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, teas that I'm drinking, channels that I'm watching, etc., etc. So that interests you, definitely sign up. Um, yeah, and all my other links are down below, you know, for my Patreon, my website, my Wally's World, my Leon Mystery School, where yes, I'm a headmistress in my own mystery school. And uh, yeah. So if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.